Hey guys, this is Kristen with Mermaid Wax. I'm gonna be going over uh, how much you should be charging for your waxing services. Um, now before I dive in, if you know any of y'all have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to comment down below, like, subscribe. I am always happy to chat with you all. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know. Okay, let's dive in. Um, okay, how much should you be charging for your waxing services? So this is an awesome question and it can vary on so many factors. Um, I get this question quite often. So real quick, um, I will just go over like my own salon, my most recent prices to give y'all reference. Um, I would consider myself like a medium based salon. Um, I, I am very confident in my waxing skills. Um, but at the same time, I don't have, like, I don't have a receptionist. Um, I am my own schedule booker, um, receptionist check out person. <laughs> I do everything myself. Um, and I don't have, like, I don't serve any like hors d'oeuvres or like nice drinks or anything. Um, so it's just me, but I love my clients. So I do, I feel like I charge what's fair. Um, and, but at the same time, I also, there's people who charge crazy amounts. So, so my four top services for Brazilian, uh, 79, Under Arms 35, eyebrows 35 and full legs 140. I know many get a question about the legs. I will go over that uh, later in this video. Um, like I said, there's also people that I've seen that like, you know, those like really nice salons or like spas, like maybe it might be at like a fancy hotel or whatever. I've seen them charge like 200 for Brazilians. So prices can vary. So hopefully this video will help you kind of decide where you should be charging. Um, okay, first thing, how long have you been waxing? So if you are someone who is fresh out of aesthetics or cosmetology school, um, personally, I would recommend working for somebody. I would not recommend going off and working on your own business. Um, you can, of course, but if you are, I don't recommend charging a high premium for services, at least not yet. Um, you're gonna have to learn so much when it comes to waxing. There's gonna be so many different types of clients, how many different types of hair, skin types, body types, um, and it's gonna take a bit to really just understand it and feel confident in it. Um, I know coming out of aesthetic school, I've heard this with myself, and also I've heard a lot of other people say this, they really just don't teach you a whole lot about waxing, and what I learned was completely incorrect. So I worked at European Wax Center um, and I worked there for two years and I learned so much and it got to a point when I was so, I felt really confident in my skill um, and then I left and then I opened my own salon. Um, yeah, I, I think that is the biggest thing. If you're going to open your own salon, I, I personally feel that you should have experienced everything. There should not be a situation that you should be nervous to come into because the last thing you want is to be able to have a client and then you get stuck on something and then freak out and not know what to do. Because if you're working on your own, there is no one else to go to. At least at European Wax Center, you can pause the appointment, go grab another waxer and ask them to help you. Um, so maybe that's a good kind of standpoint. Once you get to a place when you're like, I feel confident, I'm not scared of anything, you're good to go. Go for it. <laughs> um, but you don't have to, but I'm just, I'm, like I said, I'm talking about my opinion here. So um, that's one thing. How long have you been waxing um, is big, big number one. Uh, where are you located? Okay, this is also important because um, say a waxer in like New York or California most likely is gonna be charging much different prices than in like the middle of nowhere, Nebraska. Um, for one, just like the cost of goods and services there could be different, um, the amount of people in that area, the like the medium income in those areas also can be different. Um, and I would also recommend in those areas, look for, research the other businesses, other salons in that area, and see if there's a hole. Is, is there anything missing? Is there any salons um, that are maybe like mid-range or, um, yeah, more mid-range salons versus like really high-end salons. And if there's too much of one or the other, then maybe go for the other one because that is something that can help you differentiate yourself in those cities. Um, but yeah, where you're located is going to be huge uh, based on what you can charge for your pricing.
Um, next is what kind of business do you want to be? So do you want to be like a mid range company, um, where like it's more like target? Uh, do you want to be a little bit more budget friendly? Um, maybe have more foot traffic cause you're not charging as much. Um, maybe more like, say we'll do like three levels, like Walmart target, and then like Neiman Marcus where you're giving champagne and, um, little treats and stuff. And you have a receptionist at the front who does, who welcomes them in and, water with, um, what is it? Cucumber or something. You know what I mean? Like there's like different levels of salon. So depending on that is also going to kind of tell you where your prices should fall. Um, where like maybe at the lower end one eyebrows would be like 10 to 15. And then the middle one eyebrows are like 20 to like 40. And then the high one eyebrows could be anywhere from like 40 to 80, something like that. You know what I mean? Um, that's going to tell you a lot of what type of business do you want and what type of customers do you want to attract to that business. Um, okay, what type of products are you going to be using? So if you are using the cheapest of the cheap products, uh, if you're always looking for what's cheapest, say like a wax made from China or something like that, you're always trying to use, spend as little as possible in your business. Um, I don't feel it's fair to the customer to be charging expensive prices. Um, put it this way. Say you go to a really luxurious spa and you get this amazing facial that costs $200, $300, say, okay. Um, and then you find out at the end of it that they are using like, I'm not going to name any names, but like a, a low quality skincare, like say something you could buy at Walmart. How would that make you feel? Would not make you feel good if you just spent all of this money and then you're like, that's what you just put on my face. <laughs> um, I just don't feel like that's good juju. Put out what you want for yourself. Do unto others as you want done to yourself. So, so um, I would only recommend if you are gonna be charging higher, like even medium range to high, high um, prices at your business, invest in high quality products. Your clients will know. Um, they're smarter than you think. They will know if you are using something that is not so great versus something um, that is high end. Um, and your business will flourish. So depending on the types of products that you're using, that can also kind of determine how much you are going to be able to be charging. Um, and then last but not least is how much time and product you use for each service. So this is when I circle back to charging $140 for legs. Um, way back when I first started, um, I was kind of going off of the prices at European Wax Center and I was charging, I think it was like $70 for full legs. Um, and I quickly discovered now working for myself that I was going through so much more wax than I normally would for, or not normally would, but I would, I'm sorry. I was going through more wax than I was even aware of when I worked at European because I worked at European. I really didn't care, frankly, how much wax I was using. Um, sounds awful, but just being honest. Um, but now working for myself, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm only charging 70, but I'm using so much wax and it's taking me longer versus a Brazilian I can do in like 15 to 10 minutes and charge $55 and using a fraction of a pound of wax and legs I'm charging um, $40 and it's taking me 30 to 45 minutes and I'm using like three pounds you know what I mean like for example it so when I discovered that I was like okay I don't even like doing legs I need to increase my prices for legs so that I and um, it at least makes it worth my time. So I bumped it up, um, honestly thinking that no one would schedule, that they would stop booking, which I'd be totally fine with because I hate doing legs anyway. And lo and behold, they still scheduled for legs. Um, so that was shocking, <laughs> but, um, but at least it was worth my time now. So that made me feel much more positive than I did uh, at the beginning. <laughs> so hopefully this helps. Any questions, let me know. Like I said, um, how long you've been waxing, uh, where are you located, what kind of business do you wanna have, what products are you using, and then how much time and product are you using per service. Um, again, I will put my full price list down below just so you can use that for a reference. Um, I can't remember if I said this or not, but I'm located in North Austin. Um, 
and I, my salon I've had for 11 years and then, or I'm sorry, I've been waxing for 11 years, my salon for nine years. So if that kind of gives you any kind of reference, that's awesome. Um, any questions, let me know. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.